Oh, don't be like that. Bring the mana to me. Uh, so let's do how we did it last time. Oh wait, I'm on the wrong, wrong sphere. Actually, let me do it up here. I don't need it like... Okay, right, let's do it like that, maybe. Thank you. Let me do it like here. Eh, it doesn't really get down below very well, but oh, that's about where they get attacked by the bees. I guess that's fine. Need a little bit more range on these. I don't think I have a good... Vortex, what am I at? 58? Wait, doesn't it roll up to 60? So maybe I do have a good Vortex. Yeah, okay. So let me try this differently. Last time I did like three dummies and two trees down below. Maybe I'll try just trees. Though I'm a little scared that kobolds are just going to run by them. I guess I can upgrade them. For with... Yeah, that's that's so good. All right, now there's just a bunch of bees. Still uploading or updating. That sucks. Yo, dude, that's shitty. I'm not even thinking properly about where to place these things. I'm just assuming it'll be okay. Um, this is probably gonna be okay. All right, so each gate, three. Three, 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 and three. Okay, no, that makes sense. Then I've got like two more, or three more. I've got three more I can do. So I'll do like per tree, maybe. The safety bees. No, they're not really doing much here. Let's do it like this then. Tree bees. And I mean, it's close enough. Oh god. I don't know how I got that double jump, but it counts. Alright, nice. Good job, team. These trees are actually in a bad spot. Javelin tosses will hit the core. Yo, absolutely, dude. Bees are fucking OP. I should have put them on the rails here. Let's see how long... Oh, no, they're, they're attacking close enough. Yeah, that's fine. I think bees are stupid good. My tree placement isn't great, though. Javelin tosses will hit the core, I think, through it. Well, okay, maybe... I think it might be they'll aggro on an angle, and we might probably be okay. Because I don't think they'll line up perfectly. If they even get that close. Which, I mean, they're bees. It might happen. Um, also, if someone in the game can cleanse, like, maybe starting wave 3 or 4. This isn't a gate build, so it might be necessary. Another way to do this map is just to like build by the gates with bees, honestly, and like maybe dummies up top for safety. Because like you can still gate build this map, you just can't put things in the lane on the ground. But I kind of wanted to get bee sharing. I mean, you can still use poison darts, of course, too, and all that jazz. No, 
Not a bad setup though. But like, bees are definitely my go-to defense now. And honestly, like, I, I wouldn't even be surprised if like, bees are looked at the same way PDTs are looked at right now. In the future. Protons 2.0, I'm not even saying that. I think they're more though. I know you're saying it though with the crit damage and shit, but I think people are gonna look at these like PDTs. Maps are easy, just place down a bunch of bees and you're done. And it's true, that's all I'm doing. I'm not exactly thinking hard about this build. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, days. I'm not saying they function similar to PDTs. I just think people are gonna think of them as, you know, your one-stop shop. Need to beat a map? Place some bees. People who want challenge a game? They're going to avoid placing bees. Out of my face. I'm the melee DPS, not you. Oh, I don't know why, but that looked really cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't even need Serenity Auras on this build. I'm just doing it, you know, because I like Serenity Auras. But, like, I could just as easily put two more bees in. Or, I guess, how many surrenders do I have? I have four? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be another couple bees. Alright. Yeah, that's, I mean, you're not wrong. But I don't think bees are going to be bad. It depends less on how, like, the passage is changing again more on like how they increase the difficulty of the game. I don't think passes are necessarily... Well, I mean, passes are changing. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I don't know for sure on anything, so I can't say anything definitive. I still think bees are going to be strong, though. Is right or right? Fuck, I played League for two years. Chenny doesn't I think seem to understand how strong bees are, as far as I can tell. Like they know PDTs are fucking OP. I don't think they get the bee strength right now. Yeah, my bad. My bad on the riot. I still play League. I don't play League anymore, man. I can't. League was bad for me. Oh, nice. He actually left the gate. There we go. Dude, I wasn't good at the game at all. I was fucking like Silver 3 back when I played. I might have reached Silver 2 at one point. I only play ARAMs. I got to the point where I only played ARAMs too. I was, uh, I was Wood 7. Bed of Nails 12. Like, I played mid because, actually you've seen it in chat, fucking Herman Crab told me, hey, you should play mid lane, I jungle, our other buddy supports, you play mid. So I played mid, I got pretty good at cat, I think my cat, like if I was only playing cat, my rank would be a little higher, but only like silver one maybe. Overall, yeah, I was pretty bad. 
The only reason I was good as Cav is because I fucking, like, got into League because I watched fucking Skara stream. Ignatius Skara. Oh, the good old days. The average player is Silver 5. Really? I guess. Oh, I'm sure she has. I have no... I mean, I'm sure most of the heroes have been reworked. But I played that game two years... Actually, I even played a little bit last year. A year and a half ago. Actually, almost two years ago. She catches daggers now? The fuck? I remember she got like a... I think she got a mini rework once. Yeah, where she had like a new... um. Where her like W was like a blade spinny thing. I remember that one. But now she's like been reworked again. Yo, that's weird. Is she still face rolly though? Hey, look at that. I'm in the upper 50% of players then when I played. Hooray, I wasn't in bronze. I actually thought silver was still pretty bad. And I mean it is, but... Okay, now I definitely don't want to go back, because if I can't play Cat the way I did, I'm not particularly interested in it. Not saying it's bad, not saying I wouldn't enjoy going back, but... Okay, here's the thing. I mean, like, I had a good QEW combo, and I could roll off a bunch of enemies and chain it, like, for the team wipe. You know, under my conditions. Her E is still Shumpo. So it's just her W that switched? She's more fun, that's good. I didn't like her ult. Is she still the same ult? Her ult was like... <laughs> her ult felt like a worse W in a lot of cases. <laughs> fucking planting there. I hate. I hated that, planting yourself when you're a fucking like, mobility champ. It was, uh... Bleh. Yeah, who else did I play a lot of? Because I didn't only play her, and I played some other ones okay at the time. I'm having trouble remembering. I mean, I played I played a bunch, like I played Orianna and Sidra and stuff, Lux. Actually, I liked Lux a lot. Though I know she wasn't like amazing at the time. You can teleport to it. Do you teleport with your Shumpo or something? I'm guessing what, you like pick it up to like lower cooldown in your next dagger throw or something? Oh, interesting. So it's like you pick up the dagger to do your old W or something? Uh, that sucks though, you use your de your your old W gave you move speed, didn't it? Oh fucking damn it. All this talk is gonna make me want to play League again. I probably can't play League. Well actually League was League's an older game. I think it actually like ran pretty good on old systems. I could probably stream it, just not at the best look. Oh, he stopped existing. Interesting. Wasn't it the old cat that like anytime you killed an enemy or like got an assist or something, your cooldowns all reset? They didn't reset, sorry, they dropped by like 15 seconds, which was effectively a reset and everything, but your old Damn it. Damn it. Why are we talking about League? Uh... And huge drag drops behind the target. Does the dagger still bounce though? Like, does it bounce between uh, targets? Because if it does, then how do you know where it drops? Just the last target it bounces to? Interesting. So it's basically the same, just a little more reliable. I guess the thing is, like, I've got a budget build, and I'm not... And I mean they're doing it too, so I should be able to do it. My problem right now is there's a lot of games I want to play, and a lot of games in my library that I can even play, but, like, I've got a budget build, and when I play them, I play them on, like, reduced graphics and stuff. Like, I've got seven days. But, that game doesn't work well for me, and if I'm running fucking streams, it's gonna, like, run even worse, it's not gonna look good. Like, I tried, run, I tried streaming BDO, but, like, Letty was telling me it looked like absolute shit. So I don't want to like stream stuff like that until I get a better CPU and processor. Or in that graphics card, I mean. 
Movo. Power supply. Everything. I just need a I just need a good computer. Q bounces twice so it hits three targets. First target Q Yeah, you said like five targets, right? Just behind the first. Okay, so you you do decide where it goes then. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. Oh man. The sound when the Slickalian punched me was pretty meaty. I don't think anything's hit the trees. Has anyone repaired trees? I don't think we even had a cobalt reach them, which is a lot better than last time. There's no RNG to her kit. Well, I mean, there's the two bounces, right? That's technically RNG. Unless, like, you can direct it, like, it prioritizes going straight back. Unless it's, that's impossible, then it goes as much as it can, or something like that. But I see what you're saying to the RNG part. That sounds like a lot less. I don't know. Is there something comparable to, like, using your W while you're on enemies to, like, keep up with them with movement speed, or you're running away from a jungler? You let him get close, and then you W to get movement speed and jump away? Or you jump to an enemy and W on them? And run the opposite direction, that was always fun. So you're getting chased by like a jungler or something, and then you like jump to them and W, and if they don't react in time, you just peas past them while they're trying to figure out what happened. Hey Kane, what's going on, bud? War jumping and stuff too. Fuck. Cat was a lot of fun. Ooh, I liked, um, the one that threw bombs. Ziggs? Was his name Ziggs? Ooh, nice. Uh, Siege Roller, one in the side. We got two. As we got two of them. That's fine, though. Honestly, even if we had three, I think the trees will live long enough that we could take them all out. I can take out two before they get to the trees for sure. The D1 plus? Oh, Diamond 1. Interesting. Because it drops behind them. Yeah, that makes sense. One. One has plus movement speed? Oh, I see. One of the lane ones. Do you know which one it is? Damn, I took a lot of damage there. I'll prioritize that one. Okay, left lane. Thank you. Has anyone notice if any CC works on them? Like, are they like Chromanes maybe and slows work on them? The siege tanks, I mean. I don't know. Y'all are making me want to play League again. Okay, this tree did take damage, so I guess stuff is getting up. Alright. Uh, that ogre is going to get destroyed by bees. Bees just chew through them. You say that, but I've never really... I, it's so hard to tell. Like, your big slows in the game are what? Like... Frosty Towers... Protons... Serenadors, like, they slow, but... It's hard to tell the difference I've found. Frosty Towers aren't working. Oily Harpoons aren't working. What else slows? Sand Traps, they're gonna die anyways. Oil Guys, they're gonna die. Protons die. Unless you do the thing where you like extend them across like the width of the lane. Catastrophe, that's a funny name. North Pole. Good call, actually. North Pole. Okay, good enough. If the North Pole can slow. That's got a meaty slow, it's like what a 40% slow or something? You'll definitely see the effect from that. Though, to be fair, Serenior has 40% as well. But I guess the two together would probably be noticeable. From outside Serenity Aura. Yo, actually, good point. My throat's sore too, but I've got these little candies here to help, like, coat it after doing long streams of talking, which is exactly what this is. How long have I been going for? Almost three hours? Yeah.
Mm. I wanted to switch to Gunwitch because I need a chest piece. Oh well. I mean, if I get a good chest piece for him, like with passes and stuff, or stats, crit chance, I'll probably use it. And ignore the uh, storm chest. Gonna end at 4 hours? I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going. I mean, 4 hours would only be 11 p.m. my time. I might go for a longer stream than that. Damn it. Didn't get power up. <laughs> 